do one of these whatever these things, <laughs> these collision things. You know, they do collect about ten zillion tons of you know um, whatever bits of information. Um, but yeah, you can make them look like anything. You know, I mean, it really is connected dots, but there's a trillion dots, and it's like you can make them look like anything you want to. Just connect them the way you want. Here's here's my thing. By their own fucking standards, this only moved it up like, not even to like. Oh yeah, this is like a possibility. Like like they have like these things called sigmas. And, like, three sigmas is a possibility, and five sigmas is proof. So, you know, it's not even three sigma yet. It's still, like, a 2.8 sigma. Yeah, well, CERN makes me sigma. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so sick of those, these fake physicists. I gotta say... I really kind of miss, like, the old days of science, when they were, like, kind of, like, pseudo-adventurers, almost, where they would, like, get their hands dirty and shit, like, oh, I'm, like, like, the Curies, I'm gonna fucking handle radi uranium, like, like, yeah, we're gonna do that, science. Well, you know, the truth is, they didn't know what the fuck they were messing with, they had no fucking clue. I mean, she had three kids or something like that while she was fucking with that crap. Um, you know, you know, and it was, it, like, burned the skin off their hands and shit. Um, I mean, really is, you know, yeah, you know, if he, I guess if he didn't get hit by a stagecoach or whatever the fuck, yeah, I think he got, well, he got hit by a truck or whatever he got hit by, but, um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, yeah, he probably would have died of cancer anyway. Um, but she did pretty, she, she lived pretty long. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, just, even if it wasn't radioactive, just the fucking work they did was kind of amazing. I mean, three years of, you know, just tons of ore, you know, smelting it down. I mean, it, you know, really was... Like, it's like with, like, it's all the old scientists. Audio. Like, you look at the shit they did, it's really fucking impressive. Yeah, well, I mean, even people like Edison, you know, I mean, Edison, <clears throat> for people don't like him for a lot of reasons, but, I mean, you know, the guy worked, <laughs> you know, and worked and worked and worked, a lot of work. You know, you I'm know, one of those people who doesn't like Edison, but he was a worker, you know, he did invent some fucking of the things he made, so he did have some things. Yeah, well, I, I don't think you could say he didn't invent the things that he made. I mean, that's just sort of bogus. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a lot of people knew about burning filaments, but nobody was able to make one last. And Edison thought of the idea of the vacuum. I mean, that was Edison's idea. So you got to give the guy credit for that. And the whole idea of using a carbonized filament, I mean, that was Edison. Everybody was using metal. Just, I'm just a huge Tesla fan, so, you know, I'm kind of biased towards Edison. I'll admit that, though. Yeah, well, Tesla was a retarded cunt. And crazy to boot. Tesla, he was cool. Yeah, well, he's... <laughs> yeah, he's the only one you're stoned kind of guy, okay? Tesla wasn't, you know, he wasn't the real deal. He's more if nothing mythology else. If nothing else, nothing than, else. than reality. If nothing else. He did give us one thing. He did give us the Tesla coal, which is, has been a boon for cheesy B sci fi movies forever. Yeah, well, that's saying a hell of a lot, right? <laughs> you know, compared to the talking machine and moving pictures and, uh, yeah, light bulbs. And, you know, DC electricity. This, this talking about Tesla, that actually, you remember, uh, the slow, slow, uh, fuck, the dude from Bosnia? Like, he was talking about Harp one day, and he was like, I know what Harp can do, because Tesla was also a Serb. 
And I'm like, that makes no fucking sense. It's like, oh, I know everything Thomas Edison did because he was an American. I can go out and build a car factory like Ford did because he was an American. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I know, but you know, D.C. does have its advantages, right? I mean, D.C. you can put underground. It doesn't electrocute people. It's got a lot of a lot of advantages, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, because of the, what we chose to do, um, how we chose to distribute electricity, A.C. power became necessary. <clears throat> but you know, I'm just saying that Edison was you know, hugely valuable in terms of, you know, creating opportunities for all kinds of progress. So it's just stupid to say Edison was an asshole or Edison wasn't the deal. Edison like was a crazy fucking test. deal. Like he, a crazy he, test. <laughs> Edison turned, I, you know, Edison turned the possibilities into reality. And where all these other guys just talked about shit like, yeah, well, this is theoretically possible. Yeah, well, Edison made it fucking happen. And, you know, he didn't go buy himself yachts and a bunch of other shit with his money. He put his money back in his fucking invention engine. You know what a lot of, uh, a lot of other people, a lot of people hate, too, it, like to hate is Bell, which I never really got that. Like, I get, like, it's because of the Marconi, because, like, technically he did come up with the idea for, you know, radio, I, ah, oh, fuck, I can't remember now. Well, I don't know why it took so long to tell you the truth, it just seemed like such an obvious, you know... Like, I don't know how they didn't, like, take Morse. Once they had Morse code, I don't know how they didn't figure out in, like, three days, hey, fuck, we could just send sound through this wire. <laughs> I don't know how, why it take so long to figure that out. I, I just think just when you play with it a little bit, when you play with a microphone and a speaker just a little bit, I mean, you get the idea. It's, you know, electricity in a wire, you don't have to play with it very long to, you know, to to, to realize there's all kinds of, harmonious sounds being created in the wires and all kinds of shit and you know it just seems like I said I'm just surprised it took so long I guess the microphone was the thing that slowed them down I guess they could figure out the speaker part but they didn't figure out the microphone part but yeah I think the thing was Bell is just for really such an elitist, Edison. right? <laughs> Mr. Watson, I need you. <laughs> you know, what the fuck is that? He's like Sherlock Holmes or something. He did a lot of shit for the deaf, too. Because, like, he had two deaf parents. It's so, like he helped invent Braille and shit. Yeah, well, you know, seems like a good guy to me, but, you know, I don't know if they made a, a movie out of his life. I'll have to go see. <laughs> I like watching the movies of people's lives. The, the the Madame Curie movie was pretty good. It was that sort of, she was kind of a, she just really was a beautiful woman. I can't remember her name, but she was really a pretty good actress. She was in a lot of strong woman roles, and, uh, but that was a good movie. Bell's had a movie, but he he has been portrayed in a lot of the Helen Keller movies because he was he's actually one of the people who like a lot of people don't know this, but Annie Sullivan had like a team of people working to help Helen Keller, and he was one of the people. Yeah, well, like I said, the Curies really didn't know what radioactivity was; they just thought it was. Luminescence glowy woey. <laughs> you know, they really just didn't get it that it was Oh these are subatomic particles that are fucking destroying our chromosomes. Oh 
Edison and Tesla were both great men, man, but if Tesla had a rough road to his end because of people like the Edison who used to go on the street and electrocute fucking rodents to dogs to try and disprove Tesla as being a better man and to have a better idea. Yeah, well, whatever. I mean, the, the the tactics people use is the tactics people use. The truth was that the you know people had invested a lot of money, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, and all that crap. I'm not justifying any of that crap, but the 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 point was is that um, you know this had to be st these the you had to get money to do shit, you know. And once you had a big pile of money invested in shit, you had to get your payoff for it and all that kind of crap. And, there was a lot of special interests that were opposed to trying anything new. So, I'm just saying. I mean, Edison did it. He put his put his you know put his balls on the line, you know, put all his money into it, and um, you know, he lit New York City. And he got paid <laughs> big time. Right. And what did he do with the money? He didn't spend it on fucking hookers. As where Tesla, like, I know that Edison was a great mind, but Tesla was also that as well, and Tesla had a shit ride, like, all the way down to the end, man. I mean, I think he mm. was actually r run over as well, because he had, and, like, I think he had a lot of problems from that. I mean, he lived lonely in his flat, and he, and he, and he come up with all these great ideas, and he was just poor and broke and fucked up. Well, I know, but who's like uh, it wasn't Edison's fault? It's my only argument. I mean, Edison didn't kill Tesla. Um, Tesla killed Tesla. You know, you gotta live in the real world, and Tesla had no interest in doing that. So you know, you gotta pay a price for being wacky. <clears throat> but I'm not saying. But the other, I'm just saying that people sort of have turned him into some kind of mythical character, and I just don't think he was that fucking brilliant. I mean, that's just my opinion, but. I don't get it, okay? And some of his ideas were just wacky, like, whatever. Um, you know, <sighs> gravitational shoes or something. Yeah, well, well, that was both great, though, but I think that, I don't know, man, like, Tesla just had a shitty ride, man, all the way down to the end, like, he had jack shit. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's, 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 you know, you got to get lucky in life, too, you know? That's just the way it's, unfortunately. I mean, I mean, Edison was just a toady until he, you know, got an idea and, um, you know, I think it was the stock ticker or whatever his first patent and um you know that set him up in business and you know but i'm just saying i mean you know everybody's you got to get a little bit lucky in life you know i suppose that's the way easier to like tesla crumble. easier to like tesla because you know edison was a success and that kind of you know breeds resentment well, Tesla's like, you know, the underdog, so you kind of want to be like, hey, you know. I know, but, but you got to remember, too, Edison, you know, in his time, he was put on the spot a lot. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, you know, people, the, the, he got raped in the press and over the, you know, because he'd say, okay, this electric light is possible and blah, 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 and I'll three years, I'll blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and, and so, I mean, he had a lot of, he was always under the gun. And he was, uh, you know, for most of his life, he was fighting off bankruptcy. So I mean, it wasn't like he did. He got a free ride. He had to. He had to earn it.
Yeah, well, the first recording that Edison did was kind of funny. So I guess he recited Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. Like, early recordings are really fucking creepy to listen back to. Yeah, the speeches are kind of funny, like old speeches, because people sounded so much different than you thought they were. I remember I saw, like, Patton give a give a speech at the UN or something. It was such a, you know... I mean, it wasn't George C. Scott. <laughs> you know, it was like, well, who the hell this guy? is kind of wimpy and dirty. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was just, you know, you're just like, holy shit, you know, he's no George C. Scott. They just, you know, they have, like, they sounded like fucking nerds because they talk in, like, that old-time slang. The Negroid. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> it's like the people on the, on the, on the, you know, right side of the what you see words like that. You're like, like, Lincoln speeches are funny that way. The Negroid. <laughs> you know, it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is the good guy? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, whatever. I hate Culture 5. You know, that's quite a name. Yeah, you're four. I got used up doing what? Well, I went X, 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 and then I went W, 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 and they banned me, so I had to go to five. Stupid screen names. Well, I should stick my foot in his ass and see, <laughs> see if he can sleep through that. The thing what always got me about Tesla is the part where it says that he knew when his mother died. Like, how would somebody know when their mother died? Well, yeah, I mean, well, I'm just saying he was just probably <laughs> building up his own magic powers. I am Tesla Man! <laughs> yeah! I can do special things! I can! Trust me! Hi, Zaba! He's like Tesla. He's just like Tesla, except he's fatter. <laughs> oh, he's playing Ava! Yay! No, it's not Abba. No, that's no good. Turn that off. I hate that. Turn that off. I hate that. Okay, whatever. <sighs> He didn't look nearly as crazy as usual. Had a shirt on and such. It's hot here. I'm surprised. Yeah, shirts are for girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell of it. Yeah, that wasn't me this time. Yeah, that wasn't me this time. Yeah, I checked. You know, I did. I did hit your little, your little speaker button. I said, "Is that a fucking goddamn guy pulling this shit again?" And yeah, it wasn't you.
a lot of edibles in the room, so fuck around at your own risk. I like the video.